Fix it, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a kitchen knife. What's more dangerous than a sharp kitchen knife is a dull kitchen knife. Believe it or not, people probably get hurt more by using a dull knife. So uh, I'm going to try and show you uh, what I mean. This knife is probably one of my better kitchen knives, Japanese Mac knife, Japanese Mac knife. And um, I was able to slice my grapes this thin with them, but you know, you can kind of see that it's kind of mushy, right? When I push down and um, I'm pushing down pretty hard. There, now it finally broke the skin. There. If I'm very careful, I can probably get this thing to cut thin, but I have to kind of be mindful. So it's never been sharpened since I bought it new. So it definitely needs uh, a, f a freshening up. So I'll show you how to do that. There's also a couple of dings in it and it fell in the kitchen sink and my, my tip got blunted. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this knife sharp. I'm gonna clean it off, get some new grapes, and take you through the process. Hang in there. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of ways you can get knives sharpened. Um, when I bought this knife, it was sharpened uh, from where I bought it, from a kitchen cutlery place, and they have someone who as a regular part of their job and service there is sharpening knives and they did a great job they made it really sharp and it lasted quite a bit but these things do get dull because it's inconvenient to always go to the kitchen supply store to get your knives sharpened usually it takes you drop it off and come back in an hour or two or three or half a day later and um, you know with covid and everything and just being impatient and the time and effort uh, I figured it's got to be a quicker way because I probably waited too long to get this cut. So this unit uh, involves um, some sanding discs on both sides, the, a guide that puts my knife on the right angle, and you just pull it through until the machine stops spinning. Then you know you're done. All right. There. So that completes the process. Um, it looks like mo that one major gouge did get removed. Um, next is a honing process. Honing process, there's ceramic discs inside here and you just run the knife through there. Okay, now let's see how, how this works. Let's get a close up of that grape. This is a pretty soft one. I would say this is cutting really nicely. 
I would say this is definitely sharper. All right. Let's try the. Yeah, I'm, I hardly have to push that. And it just slides down, hardly pushing. Yeah, that works. There it is. I call that pretty sharp. So now we have a sharp kitchen knife. I'll work on the rest of my knives the same way. But I wanted you to know that you can sharp your knives at home. Um, I really enjoy this unit. Um, I'm not being sold. I, I wasn't asked to review this unit. I wasn't asked to promote it. But I'm just saying I took a chance and it worked out. Um, the particular unit that I'm was this work sharp sharpener, kitchen knife sharpener. Um, it worked. I really enjoy it. It does also do serrated knives. So I have a bread knife. All it do, all you do for that is just run it through this top um, ceramic honing section. But that's there. It is. So you can see how thin. You can see the knife blade underneath. That's how thin I was able to cut this. So I'm really impressed by that. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if this is your first time here, please subscribe. If you uh, like this video, please hit the like button and uh, have a good night. Have a good holiday and a happy new year.